welcome to this tutorial on how to adapt the style of your pocket. Hi, welcome to this tutorial on how to adapt the style of your bucket hat to suit you. Today we're going to talk all about little um, changes you can make to change your basic bucket hat. If you haven't drafted your hat yet, please have a look at my last tutorial where I showed you how to. I link to the description below. If you haven't watched my channel before, I'm Charlotte. Welcome. So last, in the last tutorial we drafted a basic summer bucket hat together and you might love that really square shape. I want something a little bit more angled for that sort of late 40s, early 50s look. Inspired, not authentic, I hasten to add. So what I'm going to do is my basic bucket hat, which is really just about general fit. So is it too loose? Is it too tight? Is roughly the depth of my rim fine? So these are the first things you need to look at. And if, for example, it's too wide or too loose, I'm afraid you have to draft it again because you will have to change all the circles. So it's sort of easier in a way to start from the beginning. And um, you can leave the top the same if you want to and angle it. Um, but what we're going to look at today is just the different styles. So what I'm going to do is pinch out how I want to change it and then show you on the flat pattern how you actually adapt your pattern for a different fit and um, make another trial. So the first thing, the fit around here is okay. What I absolutely don't like, like is the baby rim. And this is similar to a Peter Pan collar, that if you make it too flat, because this is a complete donut shape, so like this, completely flat. Um, it's the same with a Peter Pan collar, but it always needs a bit of shaping, otherwise it starts flapping as well. But that's what this brim is doing, because again, I guess if you really stiffed it out, you could have like a complete sort of um, plate shape, but I wanted more gentle. I sort of wanted to frame my face. So I want the whole thing slightly more angled down. I'm just gonna roughly pin it out how I want it on camera, which if I pin myself, I apologize in advance. Um, so can you see I'm just roughly pinning it. So this at the moment looks quite rough. Um, but what I'm going to do on paper, I'm actually going to equally divide the amount I've pinned out all the way around. Um, but this is much better. It's sort of gently sloped downward. The second thing I noticed straight away is, I'm going to go back a bit to make sure you see, is it is a bit too high. So I'm actually going to push it down a bit. I still have one that's sort of quite exaggerated height, but it was a bit too much. So I'm going to pin my new height at the front. And you just need one pin so you know you can transfer that whole um, new height all the way around and just make sure it's not too low at the back so if you have a different angled um, hat make sure it fits all the way around my hat is very square so it's the same all the way around and the last thing I wanted to do is I've already angled this I want this whole thing to sort of slightly slope outward ideally of course this would be um, straw and I'll be laying in a beach but this will have to do for rainy weather so I'm just going to again just pin out little bits and try not to pin myself. And again, I'm just doing it roughly, like I'm not doing it evenly. I'm just pinning it out so I roughly get the shape I want. And then I um, transfer that into lots of little changes. So on my pattern, I won't just have like two amendments. I will have lots of little ones so the whole shape looks really even and throughout because you don't want um, obvious cutouts. So this is pretty good and um, it's so sort of slightly angled how I want it to be, slightly lower and the rim is definitely much better. Now I've made my changes I'm going to show you how to apply these changes to your flat pattern. You can see I've pinned all my adjustments 
And then all you need to do is you can either mark this with pen and open it up, or you can just measure each adjustment and then note it down. And the same with the height. Measure your finer height and mark it down. And again, measure how much you've taken out of the crown. Then all we need to do is just remark our patterns. And I've marked my new height on my sides. And then I just add my seam allowance and cut that out. And then I just need to take out um, however much I pinned out the top. So the easiest way is to do it because we want it to be really even. Um, so I'm actually gonna work on just the half of it um, and then transfer the new piece of paper. Um, so what I'm gonna do is cut off my X at the top and also cut it in half and then make the adjustments. So this is a quarter of my overall sides. So you need to, the change we need to adjustment we need to make to the top of this bit is a quarter of your overall adjustment. Um, so this is my bottom um, and this is my top. That's my front and my back and that's my side. So in my case, I need to take off a quarter of my overall measurement. So in my case, it is, um, 1.5 centimeters I need to take off this piece so overall I wanted to take off quite a lot I want to take off six centimeters um, so 1.5 um, if you just cut it off the sides it's not going to be very smooth so I'm I would actually probably either split that into three lots or even five the more lots you split it into the more beautifully curved it's going to be the more even because you don't want a hat which is sort of wonky so i'm actually now i just quickly check my measurement which is 14 so if i do it into um three measurements um that's probably quite a nice one so i'm going to do it like that so i'm going to at each of these i'm going to take off just half a centimeter. You can also take off a bit at the side, but it's a bit, I always like taking things off the middle. So I'm not gonna cut into these lines. I'm gonna leave it attached just here. So I'm gonna cut from the top and the bottom so it meets at the seam allowance. So you can see I've left it attached at the bottom, which means I can really nicely manipulate it. Um, so now I'm just going to mar mark my half a centimeter. And of course, your measurement be different. So don't copy me. Just copy the method, not the measurement. Um, and then I can just now, because I've still attached to the bottom, I can pivot it on that line and close it on that point. like this and this is now my side you can see which is why i wanted to um split up my adjustments into as many places as possible because now i just need to very smooth very tinily curve it out that's much better with a pe um, pencil and my marker um because you don't want a line but you literally i'm you don't want to the maximum you want to snip off is like half a mil because we're working in circles and really precise measurements especially if you're making if you're interfusing everything and you're taking away all the fa fabric ease you're going to end up basically like pieces of plastic or leather um, so zero ease so your pattern cutting has to be really precise so if you recurve it too much you suddenly might end up with 
three mil extra, which in, you know, when you make a dress, three mil, you can easily absorb it, but because we need to stitch this to two circles. Um, and if you've done the 12, you know, stitching straight to circle isn't much fun, which is why we need to be super precise. But that's our um, sides finished. So now you can either use this as your fold and cut two, or you can transfer it again so you get the whole piece and the whole piece will be more precise. You can lay it on a new piece of paper, fold the paper, pin it on and then cut out the whole thing um, if you want to be more precise, which as we just discussed is a good thing to be. Let's quickly adjust this. On here again we need to use the measurements, the adjustments we made to the rim and again I'm going to work on a quarter so that's my front and my back, and this is my side. So we need, you need to transfer exactly a quarter of however much you've taken out. Um, so don't just take one measurement, add them all together and then divide them by four to get your quarter. Um, and then we need to mark it evenly, so however much you need to be. Um, can you see I'm just using the middle of my measurement to get exactly the center and then I can do the same here and get a parallel line basically. So I can now, that's one of my cutting lines and then you can just sort of always split it in half all the way around and um, so you end up with lots of cutting lines and then you again your measurement wherever it is you divide it by however many cutting lines you have it. So I'm just going to show you on one. It's exactly the same as the size. And then you just all cut them until the shape becomes less um, circular. You can see I added the other cutting lines and reshaped it. And of course, the more you do it, the nicer and more even it becomes as well. And then the last thing you need to do is measure um, around the top of your side again because that will be smaller than the bottom now because the bottom and the inside of the rim are identical we just changed the angles but the top is now narrower so you need to remeasure that and then that um, times four because it's a quarter is your, the circumference of your new top circle so you just draw another circle exactly how you've done earlier just make sure you definitely only Measure to the edge of your pattern piece, not your seam allowance. And once you've done that, put it all together again and it's time for your second twirl. And here we have it, the second twirl. You can see I've used a different fabric um, just because this is easier to work with. Um, and you can see this is much more the shape I wanted. So this is how you can draft your own summer hat with a vintage inspiration. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually stitch the final version with aligning and interfacing with lots of um, tricks on how to get these tricky circles right. But this is it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little excursion into hats away from our normal pattern cutting. And I'll see you again soon. Bye!